You star code GAMERGIRL whenever you're buying Roblox or Roblox Premium. Also check out my UGC and real life merch which is linked below in the description. Thank you! Hello gamers! Welcome to the Great Guide of Royal High made in 2020 for 2021. For those who don't know already, I actually did this video last year as well as the year before. I'll link both of those videos in the description of this video in case you want to see it. Hopefully you guys will find this video helpful in your Royal High adventures. Now before we get started in the main video, there is another video that I do kind of want to mention because I feel like I could have included it in this video but I decided not to, which is my video showing all of the chess locations inside of Royal High that's linked in the description of this video as well and if you go and click on it it will show you all of the chess locations where you're able to get some accessories as well as diamonds that you're able to go and use and spend on whatever accessories you want but anyways I think it's about time to get into the main video have the Royal High devs, the people that made this game the way that it is. And the Royal High team has definitely changed a lot over the last year, like it was nowhere near as big as it is now I'm pretty sure. And so this list is made based on these candles that are inside of the Royal High apartments at the moment that show the names of different Royal High developers. So I'm sorry if I missed any Royal High devs but that's the list I'm going off of because it felt like it has at least most of the Royal High devs if not all of them. So first of all we have Night Barbie the creator of Royal High who has made numerous realms, numerous accessories and all sorts of things inside of the game. Royal High simply would not exist without Night Barbie. Next is Lonsort92, Night Barbie's wife, who does streams and sometimes shares some Royal High leaks about various things, as well as working on a few parts of the games, such as working on two different Halloween mazes. Next up, there's Salty Shio who has made numerous hairstyles inside of Royal High. Mainly anime ones, I think, but also a few other ones as well. They are all super adorable. I love them. <laughs> I'm not sure if Salty Shio's made accessories. No, wait, she has. <laughs> How have I forgotten? <laughs> Literally, one of the most expensive skirts in Royal High that is off sale was made by Salty Shio, and I just completely forgot. I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> Next up we have IXChoco underscore, he's the graphic designer for Royal High. She's made several of the badge icons for Royal High as well as the sticker packs that you're able to use to customise your journals. Next up there's Jam Jim Ju, who's worked on several realms for Royal High as well as she's made several accessories as well as wings for Royal High. Specifically during the winter season but there's probably a lot more coming. Next up is Ready for Teddy who's also made several accessories for Royal High including multiple set collections that you're able to wear together. Next up there's Beersome who's worked on Davinia Park and Christmas Town inside of Royal High. Davinia Park being a full time realm that you're able to go and explore, it is massive. And then Christmas Town being a realm that you're able to visit during the winter season. Next up there's Matt Crystal 3 who's worked on several accessories for Royal High including the fluttering butterfly set collection that you're able to get all year round. Although some of the accessories of it are in chess rather than actually being purchasable. Next up there's Vionchi who works on some of the Royal High realms and he was making parts of the Royal High apartments lobby as well as parts of the new Royal High school. Next up there's Miss Rosie who along with Kelsiana and Miss Riley Lane have made several accessories as well as Moonlight Square inside of Royal High. We are able to go and shop for certain designers Roblox clothing. Next up is Tsukimeki who's made a lot of accessories, hairstyles and skirts for Royal High as well as making several set collections inside of the game. Next up, there's ddog underscore 007, who's a scripter for L High, has made a lot of the scripts inside of the game, including trading, which was quite a big thing to make. Next up, there's KateCar22, who holds the Royal High writing contest for the fountain, as well as implementing lots of makeup, as well as clothing, into the Royal High dress up catalogue. Next is D5NO underscore, who's worked on several realms inside of the new Royal High School, so kind of like mini realms within the realm, if that makes sense. And then finally, there is Heart Roblox, who has also been working on several of the realms within the Royal High School, as well as working on some of the campus of the main grams of the school. So that's all of the Royal High devs. Sorry if I missed anyone. It was a very very long list but anyways it's time to go and move on to the next section. Next 
up we have how to get a halo inside of Royal High. And so halos are probably like my favourite and least favourite type of accessory at the same time. Because as you can see they do look really really amazing and all of them are unique and made especially for the season that they're in. But at the same time they are extremely hard to get. I was super fortunate to win this halo, the Halloween Halo 2020. And to win the Mermaid Halo 2019 but most people are not that lucky. And so the main way how you get to Halo is by using the Phantom. That's generally how they come into circulation in the first place. And so if you go over here and you make a wish, it comes up with that starter story. And then after a little bit, you go and throw in your diamonds and then it goes and takes you to the main story. And so then once the main story has loaded, there'll be four different options that you'll have to choose from in order to have a chance at winning the Halo. And so depending on which story it is, the options that are able to give you the Halo are different. So like for this story, I know that option D is one that's able to win you the halo over here. So I'm going to click that. And if you win the halo, then your screen will change color and you will see the badge appear in the bottom right corner. Unfortunately, though, I did not win it. But yeah, not all of the options on the different stories are able to give you the halo, but some of them are, which is why I always do videos showing halo answers for each story that are able to win you the new halo. Based on what halo winners of the different stories have said that they chose and the halo also changes each season for a different halo and so the stories change completely and the answers change completely so it's a new video for every season and i really enjoy making the videos for each season so whenever new halo comes out do make sure to check out my channel in case there is a new video showing the halo answers for the stories of that season now a very new way of getting halos inside of royal high which may not stay forever but is in the game at the moment is from the writing competitions and so kate cart hosts writing competitions competitions on her Twitter a few weeks or so before the Halo is due to come out and so usually around 12 different story options are chosen and then the people that wrote those stories would get given the Halo for that season inside of the game but that may not be something that's staying forever but either way it's still worth entering in the contest if you really want to and you think you can write some pretty good stories but anyways the final way that you're able to get Halos inside of Royal High is from trading and that leads us on to the next topic. So before trading, you have to reach the trading level requirements, which means that you have to be at level 75. And so the main way to level up in Royal High is by using the sleep need that I use all the time. That's actually where I got most of my 273 levels from. So you just wait a few minutes inside of the game and then your percentage will go down. You can actually go and check it out on your phone if you want to over here on the missions tab. And so if you go and wait a little bit, you can wait for it to go all the way up to 100% but you don't have to. But then after a bit you can go and jump up and you can see I just leveled up and got a level up bonus. You usually get 300 diamonds but because I have diamond game passes, I get 1800 diamonds instead. And so you are also able to complete classes in the school to level up if you really want to like level up fast. But that doesn't mean you should forget about using the sleep need because it is honestly so helpful for leveling up and I feel like people don't understand that enough but then once you meet the trading requirements you are able to go and teleport over to the intergalactic trading hub so once you're in the intergalactic trading hub you need to go and agree to all of the rules inside of it and then if we go through the doorway here we can go into the main trading hub and so then all you have to do is go and click on someone and then go and press to ask them to trade and then you can go and accept the trading request and then over here you're able to go and add in whatever you want they're able to go and add in whatever they want and then you go and accept the trade they go and accept the trade and then you go and press accept on it but i'm not going to do that because i don't actually want to trade but in order to find trades you can go into public servers and join random people but something else that people go and do is use this trading website called a tradery and so on tradery you can see different items that people are offering to trade and so let's go and find an example okay i actually want the one daily 2020 but i don't think i have anything that's worth it i don't know and you know what you can remove offers i'm pretty sure so let's just go and put in an offer okay if you go and click on this over here and we go I haven't actually did this before, but I'm pretty sure you just go over to selling and then you find someone that like has shown it and then you go and make an offer. So just like over here. And so yeah, you can see someone made an offer of a Mermaid Halo 2020 and then you can go and make your own offer. I already logged in. What's this thing talking about? 
So it turns out I hadn't set up my account properly, but now I have. And so if you go over here, you can see you're only able to trade items inside of Royal High. So it doesn't allow cross trading or anything like that, which is really good. And so if you come over here, how many diamonds do I have? I don't know. Okay, you know what? I'm going to remove this anyway. So let's just go and put in 300,000 diamonds over here. And then you can go and search up whatever items you want. You can see it has all of the items that are currently inside of the game. And so you can search up whatever you want. Let's go and put in... I don't know. I'm going to remove this anyway. <laughs> I keep on thinking, like, I don't know anyone actually wants to lose these items. But, like... I'm gonna take this down anyway, if I can figure out how to. I think I know how to. <laughs> but if we go over here, you can see I add in the elegant parasol, and you can add in however many you want, so of like how many you actually have, and then you go and submit the order, and then <laughs> offer, sorry, and then you go and put it over here. And then if someone likes the offer that you put in, then they'll go and like message you in Tradery, and then you can send them a temporary friend request, and then you can go and trade inside of the game. And I'm going to go and cancel this offer, because because I did not actually want to do this. But yeah, if you have the actual item, you can go and choose to make a listing. So you can see over here it says selling. And so you can put in however many of the item you want to have. So like two, for example. I don't even have to say low. But I'm just showing an example. And then you can also press accept only listing price if it's something that you specifically want and you only want that. Although you can just remove it if you want to as well. And then you can go and put in like however many diamonds you want. <laughs> 29 diamonds, that would be terrible. Then you can also put in like whatever accessories you want. And then you just go and add in the listing just like that. I need to go and remove this. Oh gosh. Um, Let me make sure to do that. <laughs> I think I just go over to my profile and go to listings and then go and remove. <laughs> yeah, let me make sure it is removed. Because I'm not trading a halo that I don't have for 29 diamonds. <laughs> And a pair of wings that I don't even think is limited edition. Actually, it is. It's from Valentine's, but still. But yeah, that's basically how you trade inside of Royal High. Some people also trade on Twitter, but I highly recommend using either Trade of Re or just going into public trading servers and seeing if you're able to find anyone who's willing to take your offer. But anyways, now it's time to move on to the biggest part of this video that I love to make so much. time to go and look at the cost of everything inside of Royal High and so if we go into the shop over here you can see all of the heels inside of Royal High and so the girls heels to cost 113,000 diamonds the boys heels cost 23,000 diamonds and then all of the non-limited edition heels cost 136,000 diamonds and then the limited edition heels cost 346,000 diamonds now if you go and look at the skirts, the short skirts cost a total of 101,000 diamonds, the long skirts cost a total of 221,000 diamonds, and all of the non-limited edition skirts cost 322,000 diamonds, and the limited edition skirts cost 200,000 diamonds. And so then if you go and look at the accessories, all of the non-limited edition accessories cost 295,300 diamonds and the limited edition accessories cost 720,750 diamonds and 122,850 candies. And so then if we go and move on to the wings, it has changed a lot in terms of the cost. Because last year it costed around 500,000 diamonds, but this year they all cost 957,450 diamonds, which is almost a million. That's so much. And yeah, that's just the non-limited edition ones. The limited edition wings cost another 575,700 diamonds. And so then there's the dorm items that cost 77,000 diamonds. And so now if we go and look at the totals, the total of all the items inside of Royal Height without limited edition items. Oh, I probably should have mentioned sooner. This does not include the off-sale items, like the items you'll never be able to get again. Because I feel like those don't really have a set value anymore since they're like never coming back to the game since they're never coming back to the game. But anyways, in 2018, the total was 955,425 diamonds. In 2019, it was 1,246,275 diamonds. And this year it is 1,787,750 diamonds. 
<laughs> that's so much and that's just the ones that you can buy all year round if you go and look at the ones that are only limited edition in 2018 it was 168,000 diamonds and 22,850 candies in 2019 it was 839,550 diamonds and 22,850 candies and this year it's 1 million 842,450 diamonds and 122,850 candies which is like 64,000 robux for just the limited edition items and if you get all of the non-limited and limited edition items and put that together in 2018 the total was 1,123,425 diamonds and 22,850 candies in 2019 that went and became 2,085,825 diamonds and 22,850 candies and this year it is so much like i i can't even believe the amount that it costs but it's three million six hundred and thirty thousand two hundred diamonds and 122,850 candies to convert that into robux that's like approximately a hundred and thirty thousand robux like that's so expensive my gosh, like imagine actually trying to get everything by spending Robux. That would not be a good idea. You definitely, like, if you want these items, you probably have to get diamond game passes and then go and, like, save up in the new royal height. And then go and... And then go and complete class... And then go and complete classes in order to get diamonds. And then go and... And then complete classes in order to get diamonds but anyways that is the end of the video let me know if this surprised you at all the total cost now definitely surprised me i did not think it would be that much but there are a lot of items inside of real high clearly and it's only going to get bigger and bigger but anyways make sure you ring the bell to be notified you like and subscribe and